Hello, I'm Thomas Sanders, and I work as an agro trainer with Lemkin. Today I'd like to explain to you our LTEX system in our Lemkin Ice Obus Mega Spray Machine. The LTEC comprises a system without the conventional separate supply hoses to each spray section that are normally installed at the rear of the boom. So there are not 10 or even 13 width section valves, but each nozzle body has instead a separate electrically controlled valve. Here the spray mixture is fed from the center of the boom directly to the main spray line, from which the individual nozzle bodies are centrally supplied. The main spray line is additionally supplied with spray mixture from the outsides to make sure that each nozzle receives the same volume of water at the same pressure from the start, regardless of its position on the boom. When the operator wants to start spraying, the main valve is opened and spray mixture is released into the spray line that centrally feeds the nozzle fittings. The boom is additionally fed from the outside via this transparent hose. I've prepared a sketch for you to illustrate this system. If we look at the boom from above, we see the main spray line here. So the spray mixture is fed in centrally from the middle, just as I have shown, left and right in the direction of travel. The additional circulation line in green here shows the transparent hose. So in practice, the boom is additionally supplied with spraying fluid from the outside. When you arrive at the headland, the selection valve turns and the circulation changes. The spray mixture is no longer fed to the boom from the outside, but is instead diverted directly to the tank's pre-cleaning nozzles. This is called true high pressure circulation. The advantage of the system is that the feed to the quadruple nozzle bodies ensures that the correct amount of spray mixture is supplied to each nozzle body evenly and consistently at optimal pressure. And this ensures that the spray droplets have the right size. All of our nozzle bodies are installed well protected inside the upright aluminium profile at the top, but it is still possible to turn the triple nozzle body or the optional quintuple nozzle body. Another advantage of our rear folding RA aluminium boom combined with the LTEC system is that you can even spray with a boom that is partially folded out. This is very useful for contractors for example, because they can always work with the optimal working width and spray in section width configuration for different customers and cultures, regardless of different tramline systems, because they can configure these options themselves. I'll now show you how to configure the system using the Mega Spray application. This tractor runs Mega Spray on the tractor terminal via ISOBUS and parallel to that the command section control app on the CCI200 Lemkin terminal, which allows us to switch section widths via GPS. First I'll show you how to define the width sections via Mega Spray. The main menu shows the boom and the sprayer. If I touch this sprayer icon, I enter the width section allocation menu. On the right side, I have three section width distributions, which I can program freely, plus a fixed Lemkin factory setting, which are configured to reflect how the nozzle bodies are installed on the individually folding elements of the boom. Now I'll configure the second profile for section width memory. I can make an immediate selection here to enter how many section widths I want to allocate to the boom. I allocate 13 section widths to the field sprayer, which is the maximum in this case. I allocate one nozzle to the first section width, two nozzles to the second and so on until I have the full boom configured. As soon as I have assigned all nozzles to width sections, I save my selection by pressing this button until the terminal confirms the settings with a beep. This takes me back to the main menu, and the CCI200 terminal applies the boom setup I have just configured. With the LTEC Pro option, I can use the same menu to switch to single nozzle mode. 
I simply press this button and each nozzle is activated or deactivated individually. For example, when using on a GPS signal. Keep this button pressed for a second to save the settings and return to the main menu. The CCI 200 terminal again applies these settings. And now the sprayer switches all 56 installed novels individually. How does true track following work in the Vega? The Vega has a steering drawbar installed for this purpose. This is where the pivot point of the drawbar is. On the other side, it has a large steering cylinder installed, which then actively steers the drawbar. The principle is similar to that in an articulated tractor, where the pivot point is directly between the front and rear axle to make sure that the rear axle follows exactly in the tracks of the front axle. That's exactly the same in the Vega, where the pivot point is also in the middle. If we compare the distance between the field sprayer axle and the pivot point with the distance between the pivot joint of the field sprayer and the second pivot point between the tractor's rear axle and the trailer coupling, we see that the two distances are almost identical. This guarantees true track following in the Vega. True track following can't be impaired by a different track width, different tie width or diameter or a different rim size. The field sprayer axle, in contrast, is not steered, which gives the Vega a lower center of gravity and more stability. Implements with steered axles have a narrower tank between the tires, which shifts the center of gravity, because the volume for the spray mixture needs to be found elsewhere. It's where I'm standing just now. Also, the boom of the Vega folds behind the sprayer rather than on top of it. Both of these features together shift the Vega's center of gravity downwards, which increases stability in turns and on slopes. The drawbar can turn by up to 45 degrees. How exactly does this work? We use a gyroscope, which is installed here on the tractor. Once it has been installed, which is a one-off process, it transmits a signal and the drawbar is then controlled electrohydraulically via load sensing. Above a speed of 15 km an hour or 9 miles per hour, the drawbar is automatically moved into its center position and locked. Of course, you can also use the Lemkin Vega with a tractor that doesn't have ISOBUS yet. In this case, Mega Spray and Command Section Control, the Automatic Section Width Control System, are GPS controlled via the CCI 200 terminal. Here we see the Mega Spray application and we access the Automatic Width Section Control via these buttons. We have created an overview function because it can be a fuss to jump between the various applications. To access this, I tick the Mini View application option under this menu item. I now see a display of the most important spray data, including application rate, pressure, speed of travel, area worked and selection valve status on the Width section menu. Another ingenious idea is the AUX end function, which allows us to assign a range of functions to a joystick. How do we do this? We use the Mega Spray menu to assign functions to the joystick. The menu opens automatically when the auxiliary is connected to the CCI 200 terminal. In this case here, the A10 is shown, which has no functions assigned yet, except for the info button and slope compensation. I now assign functions by activating the learn mode and selecting the functions that I want to have with the scroll button. In this case, raising the lift mast. I then move the joystick lever or button to which I want to assign the function and I'm done.
I then exit learn mode. The field sprayer is now fully set up and we can take it onto the field. 